Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rain or Shine. In May 2023, my husband and I visited some of the best destinations in Sardinia. Today, I'll be sharing with you our favorite beaches in Sardinia, one of the most spectacular islands in the world. Sardinia is located in the west of Italy over the Mediterranean Sea. So here are our top 10 Sardinia beaches in no particular order. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Number one on our list is Cala Gulorice. It is located in the east of Sardinia. This natural wonder is the most famous beach of the stunning Baune coast. Colorice is considered by many as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. This paradise can be reached only by hiking down through a rocky path for more than 3 kilometers. You need to witness the sea here with your own eyes to believe that its turquoise color is real. Bear in mind that there is a 250 people limit per day to reach the beach, so be sure you book in advance if you're coming in high season to avoid disappointment. Cala was created in 1962 by a landslide from the nearby cliffs. We have to admit that this place was one of the highlights of our trip and the effort to get to the shore was totally worth it. Next on our list is Cala Luna. It is also located in the Baune coast. Cala Luna is another splendid beach that you shouldn't miss. This Sardinian jewel can be reached by a long intense hike for more than one hour or by a 30-minute boat ride. We departed at the earliest time from Cala Gunone to Cala Luna. And we were alone in the beach until the next boat arrived 90 minutes later. Cala Luna is without a doubt one of the most beautiful beaches in Europe. Its unspoiled natural shape and symbolic caves are another must that you shouldn't miss in a trip to Sardinia. I felt like the protagonist of a movie while we were filming in this piece of paradise. Number 3 on our list is Porto Junco. It is located in the southeast of the island. This beach is part of the coastal town of Villa Simius, which was the first destination of our trip. Here we immediately fell in love with the turquoise sea of Sardinia. We hiked to its Aragonese Tower to capture the surroundings of this wonderful beach from up there. With these views, it is easy to understand why Porto Junco is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Italy. We especially enjoyed the little Cala Porto Junco, accessible by walking just beyond the main beach. Next on our list is Calapira. It is located in the southeast of the island. Though Calapira is part of the territory of Castiadas, it is also very close to Villasinius. This 500 meters long sandy cove 
with its pristine waters, is very famous between the local people of this part of Sardinia. The Aragonese Watchtower from the 17th century adds a really characteristic touch to the coastal landscape of Calapira. We loved how the golden light of the sunset touched the beach while the day was calmly coming to an end. Our number 5 is Porto Taverna. It is located in the northeast of the island. There are different parking locations to access this beach, but the one next to its characteristic wooden walkway offers the best views. We were so lucky to have perfect light illuminating the scene over the lagoon with the beach and Tavolara at the background. Numerous birds were flying over us too, as this place is home for many animal species. The silhouette of the majestic Tavolara Island is always present in all the nearby beaches, which are part of a protected marine area. Number 6 on our list is the Spiaggia delle Vacche. It is located in the northeast of the island. The way to reach this tiny cove is not very easy to find. The roads that get there are private so we had to leave our car in the parking located next to the Ristorante La Tavernata in Porto Taverna. First, we walked to Cala Girgolo, another impressive beach with views over Tavolara Island. After crossing the beach, we followed the path that was closer to the sea until we found the little stairs that indicates the beginning of the trekking to Spiaggia de la Tartaruga. These beaches are named like this due to the surreal shapes of the rock formations of this part of the coast. The distance may seem short in the map, but the hike was harder than we expected, and the path was not always obvious. Both the trekking and the mesmerizing final destination will be an extraordinary experience that you will never forget. Number 7 are Cala Brandinki and Lu Impostu. They are located in the northeast of the island as well. These two majestic beaches are just next to each other, and they are also part of the protected marine area of Tavolara. The scenic coastal zone of San Teodoro, considered as one of the best destinations in the island, made us fall in love with Sardinia even more. Calabrandinki is truly one of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen, with stunning white sand and turquoise shallow waters that allow you to walk really far away into the clear sea. The long Lu Imposto Beach, whose name means Place of Shipping, is believed that it could have been a trade post or even a smuggling place in the past.
Next on our list is Nicosi Beach. It is located at Costa Paradiso in the north of Sardinia. This is one of the most amazing beaches in the island. To reach the cove, there's a short but appealing trekking next to the sea, an ideal immersion in this natural paradise. Nicosi Beach takes its name from the river that runs just behind it. The surrounding granite rocks have a reddish tone that creates a fantastic contrast with the emerald green and sky blue waters of the Mediterranean. Its shallow and super clean waters with its numerous fish species are also a great addition to this beach. La Pelosa is our number 9. It is located at the Sintino Peninsula in the extreme northwestern part of Sardinia. This is one of the most unique beaches that we have seen in our life. The moment we arrived, we immediately understood why La Pelosa is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Europe. Its shallow and transparent turquoise waters allow you to go far away into the sea and its fine white sand feels like a perfect soft carpet where you can fully relax your body and mind. From the shore, the view of the horizon is only interrupted by small islands with their captivating watchtowers. Last but not the least are Porto Flavia and Masua. They are located in the southwest of Sardinia. Porto Flavia was inaugurated in 1924 and it received its name from the little daughter of Cesare Vecelli, who was the main engineer of such an outstanding construction. Instead of enjoying Masua Beach and doing the boat tour to see this incredible area from the sea, the rain changed our plans and we visited the interior of Porto Flavia instead. Porto Flavia wasn't actually a mine, but a peculiar harbor where the minerals were brought from the nearby mines, stored and loaded into the ships. This allowed to reduce the times of transportation from days to hours. We hope we can return to enjoy this part of Sardinian coast with good weather in the future. That ends our top 10 beaches to visit in Sardinia. Let us know in the comment section about your favorite beaches in the island and if you agree with our choices. 
if you want to know more about our detailed trip in Sardinia, including tips about accommodation, transportation, and foods, plus many other places that we visited, check the full vlogs of our Sardinia travel series. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel content. Most of our viewers haven't subscribed yet. It's really important to help us grow our channel in order for us to post more videos in the future. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.